<laughs> hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. God, it's so quiet in here. I'm used to noise. We just got back from Florida Realtors Convention this week. I am beyond excited, honored, humbled. I love this human being next to me. This is Colleen Murphy, and she's kicking off our VIP Mortgage Group Spotlight Show, where we're going to introduce you to the amazing human beings I am blessed to get to work with every single day. Uh, and Colleen and I have been friends for a long time. She's a great human being. She loves the community. She is an amazing loan officer, but we're going to learn more about her. Welcome, Colleen. How are you doing this morning? I am very happy to be here. I'm excited to have you. I can't believe we actually did it. We got it done. You look great. We had a great week at the convention, I think. I think it was very successful. Love seeing all of you. Uh, shout out to all the realtors who came on the show. We appreciate you guys so much. Uh, so I didn't tell you this, but the audience loves o origin story. They want to know about you. So they want to know, you know, you obviously didn't have a um, mortgage loan officer Barbie when you were growing up. So there were probably <laughs> other dreams and other things. So give them a little bit of background on you. All right. Well, um, actually, I did have Barbies and my <laughs> dream, my biggest dream was to be um, a mom and a wife. And I always just had all the weddings with the Barbies and stuff. Um, and so that dream definitely came true. I got the fairy tale and met my husband in high school. Um, that is so rare, right? Yeah. Met in high school and still yeah. together. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's, it's great. It's been, I couldn't have dreamed it up even better, <laughs> ever better. So yeah. And we have two grown boys now. And uh, we're so proud of them. And it's been a fun and amazing journey. And I'm happy to be here now. Um, I started in the mortgage career um, right out of high school, actually. I, I went to work for a local credit union. Why? Um, what, what got you there? Was it just a job at the time and was. kind of fell into it? Actually, before the, the credit union job, I was the switchboard <laughs> operator back when they had actual switchboards um, <laughs> at Robinson's in the Fashion Square. I Mall. loved Robinson's. <laughs> and for you people that don't know what a switchboard is, Google it. You're probably not old enough. So I this credit union was not far down the street and i just thought well it'll be you know something i, I can just be the receptionist and handle the switchboard and I, so i applied and i got that job um and then not too far down the road they decided to open a mortgage department at the credit union and I had no idea what it was that, um, but they asked me hey would you be interested and um i, I said yeah I, Let's do it. And um, so they gave me some VCR tapes about how to do mortgages and a typewriter. VCR, oh, typewriter. <laughs> God, we really are dating ourselves. <laughs> and an HP 12C calculator that I still love and use. And um, just triplicate paper, white paper, then a pink paper, then a canary. Y'all have no <laughs> idea how easy you have it. The typewriter, remember the, little, remember the little typewriter ribbon? You'd have to correct the thing. Yeah. You'd have to type over you it. You have to backspace and put the little oh thing in there. God. Anyways, I'm <laughs> getting off the rails. No, I that. love that. That's it's, a good stuff. But it's just the truth. It was how I got started. And I Did you like it? It was fun. I loved it. Okay, it was so, so much it was fun. an immediate thing for you. You realized, right. okay, I have a passion for this. That's yeah. a blessing to learn that early on, I think. It is a, absolutely a blessing. Um, I loved it. And that ever since then, I mean, how many years has it been? 30, two, three, something. you're a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, then I, I have developed in my career over this, over the time I learned, um, from there, I went to processing with a big company out of the Northeast. Um, but just over there in Longwood, but they were, they had a branch and I learned so much there and just, um, in every, stage of my career, I've been able to learn more things and add to my, you know, toolbox. Um, and it's been a fun journey. But of course, you know, I was focusing my a lot of my attention on raising these two boys a family. Yeah. Um, but now they're, you know, one's doing um, e commerce, and he's killing it. And then I have my youngest one who just started a senior year at FSU. So um, we are super proud of him and live in that. It's just a dream that um, I, we're, I'm super happy. But now I can really, I'm excited about, you know, 
it's go time for me here. At, yeah, let's at talk AIP. about that. Mm -hmm. So we've been friends for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I've always wanted to work with you and we did sort of work together at one place prior, mm -hmm. uh, but we just didn't interact as much as I would have liked. Yeah. And so when all of this happened, I'm like, oh my God, I would, I would love it. But you, I, I'm almost sure you said, hey, what do you think about your new company? Or did I reach out to you? What was that like? I can't I'm not remember. sure because I always, you know, try to keep in touch with Ted and, you know, see how you're doing in your life. And I think all I did was just reach out. At the time, I was taking a little bit of a break because some family members opened a local brewery and um, yeah, give it a shout out. Rock Pit Brewing, right? <laughs> in Soto. Awesome brewery and great people. And uh, anyway, I was having a lot of fun doing that, learning a lot of new things. But the biggest takeaway that I got from that is perspective. Um, I I had never been in the service industry, you know, um, but serving the public in that capacity is um, a treasure to know. Everybody should do it. That's, you know, I learned a lot about beer and, and whatnot, but. Because um, <laughs> it's an art. What do they call a beer person? A Cicero, no, something, Cicerone. Cicerone, yeah. Yes, which is like mm -hmm. a sommelier for beer, right. which I had to learn from Jeremy Wood, actually. Yeah, so there's so much to learn, and I did learn a lot. But my my favorite takeaway from it was being in the service industry. You kind of have to be more um, outgoing, and you have to be more of a people person. And I was always pretty shy, you know, not really, not really um, talkative. <laughs> and that's can't. so funny <laughs> to me because I feel like you are so engaging in general. So is that just something you've had to work on? Your are you really an introvert that has to work at being an extrovert? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I do love people, but um, I guess I just, I, I don't know. It's just some <laughs> kind of like a block that I have about strangers, maybe. I don't know. But in that industry, you have to talk to everyone. Yeah. And I learned that, you know, it's really not that 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 horrible people just want to be talked to people just want you to give them a little bit of um an ear sometimes and and be kind to them and that's it's they it's want pretty, it. it's pretty simple actually it's not that hard so. well you also have that personality you have that natural make people feel comfortable i'm sure that also even though it was behind a desk uh led to you being a successful loan officer mortgage mm -hmm. professional for so long mm -hmm. um and so i think that 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 fine tuning that is kind of a cool thing. Mm -hmm. And then you you brought you brought all of this energy to VIP. So um, I'd be remiss and Christian would probably want to kill me if I didn't ask and I but I'm curious. Talk about VIP a little bit because I preach about it all the time. I talk about the environment, but um, even though you're on the spot and in the spotlight right now, tell us why you like being here. Okay. I want people to know because I can preach it. I can scream it from the rooftops, but you're in the trenches. You're doing the real work. I mean, she does the real work. All of our loan officers do. Uh, tell me about your experience here. Okay. So you were starting to talk about how we, how I, re, how we reconnected. Um, I just reached out and you said, Hey, come meet with me. And we talked and I w wasn't sure I really wanted to go back into the mortgage industry just yet. But once I met, um, Christian, the one of the other owners, um, I, it just kind of like snapped and, and I felt comfortable and I felt like I think I want to give this a shot, you know, so I came on board and everything that they said about it, um, they really meant it. They're, they have built um, an environment that's extremely welcoming. It's um, the support the tools ever, never in any of the places I've been, have I been given so many tools and just support to succeed in any way I want to, any direction I want to go. They're just like, go for it. What can we do? And there's no weirdness. There's no, um, there's no competition. There's no, not, not that there isn't any, but it's a healthy kind of competition. And you, you set your own, goals and you, you know, there's not like a 
you're not being smashed down with stress or threats or anything like that, which is that which is how it is at a lot of places that I've lived, been. I have lived that And too. it's horrible, but yeah. but that is not how it is at VIP at all. It's just a, a fresh world there. And I didn't even, I wouldn't have believed it if you would have told it to me. <laughs> I wouldn't have. But I've been there now since mid-January and I've experienced it. And it's nothing but true, just love of all the team members just love each other. We are all there for each other. Anybody needs help or, you know, help, I got a problem with a loan or anything like that. Everybody just rushes in to to help support each other. And we help each other learn more and grow. And, you know, right now I have people right here on this and they know that I, <laughs> I don't like to be on video. So I'm like, please be on and support me because I'm scared. You've done an amazing <laughs> job on video, by the way. And yes, you have a ton of love going up and down here. And I want to kind of build on that. Yeah. You are a relationship person and this business is not mm -hmm. transactional. So if anybody tells you it is, they're wrong. This is a relationship business. Um, tell us about your relationships. You, you have spent X amount of years, just a couple, building relationships, making uh, relationships in the community. Talk about how important that is and how you work with your uh, realtor referral partners. So being in the um, in the realm that we are at VIP, it's it is different for me. I've being um, from the credit union industry, I didn't have to have those connections. It, it, it wasn't as important as it is now. Um, you have to put yourself out there and it's not just coming to you all the time. And at, at first I was uncomfortable with that, but that is how it has to be. I mean, you're, you're not limited with a salary. Um, you can fly as high as you want to fly and you can just achieve whatever you can like dream big, you dream know, big. you can dream big and you, nobody is stopping you. But the connections and those relationships is really everything. It's everything. And you have to, you have to have trust. You know, you have to follow through. You have to do what you say you're going to do. You have to own up if you make a mistake. But people resonate with that because there's nobody that doesn't ever make a mistake. But if you're being real, I mean, that's really what it's what it's all about just be real and the people that you're supposed to be, you know, that are supposed to be in your world are going to recognize and, and appreciate um, that genuous, you know, whatever you're putting out there, as long as it's real and it's genuine, then I think you're going to attract the right people and, and your life's going to be great. Yeah. Know? Cause I think people that I actually, I don't think, I know people can feel it. So mm -hmm. if you're being authentic, vulnerable, admitting, if you made a mistake and communication, mm -hmm. I would say that's the number one thing that anybody I speak to in this industry wants from a, a loan officer, especially, but any of their partners mm -hmm. is the communication and the open communication. Mm -hmm. uh, not burying your head if there are problems and there are problems mm -hmm. or there are issues, but certainly giving back and making sure that you communicate with each other is mm -hmm. critical. So let's talk a little bit about before we went live. We had a couple of people ask, what's your take on the market right now? Rates going to go up. How are you feeling about the market? Are you seeing any kind of slowdown uh, just from your perspective as a loan officer professional? Mm -hmm. So I do, you know, look at different um, sources to kind of give us a hint on what's going on, what's going to happen in a year from now or whatever. And um, the, I think the consensus is um, being that COVID has really slowed down production of things. We don't have supplies. Uh, there's not as much construction because they don't have lumber and building supplies and things like that. Plus with um, the, the shutdowns in many of our states, Florida isn't as shut down, people want to come here. Yeah. There's business, they can go out to eat, they can have fun, you know, they can, um, you know, you want to be, you know, you know, you want to have um, a certain level of care as far as COVID and whatnot. But as long as this is still going on, and some states want to shut down, and what's going on in the world right now, which is very scary, um, people want to buy homes, and Florida is huge. Florida is huge. So um, there's just a lot of desire for homes. And I don't see it 
really slowing down much anytime in the near future. I think it's going to stay, you know, I think I've, I've heard people saying that it's stabilizing, that there's going to be more stuff on the market. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon. And I believe rates are going to continue to stay low. I, I, I agree really with do. you. I, I feel everything you said is hundred percent. on. I mm -hmm. feel like we're, we're in a good place here in Florida. Some areas, not so much, but if you're looking at the overall picture of uh, housing and what's going on in our market, I feel like we are still moving and incredibly healthy. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I agree with you. I don't, I don't see the rates going anywhere, but you never know, right? But you, that's why it's such a good idea for you to check with a professional. You want to make sure. One of the things I love about being a local uh, grown company is that we really are in touch with our market. And um, so if you have a client and of our realtor partners and you're working with somebody who's online and you have no idea where they are and they're not in Florida, sometimes they don't have the same insights that we have as local professionals. So it's really good to hook up with, meet with, build a relationship with your local people, the people that can come back and support you in the community. All right. So let's see how easy that was. We're almost done. So tell them how they can reach you. What's the best way they can find you? How can they get more of Colleen Murphy? Well, you can call me or text me on my cell. That is 407-761-4025. Or you can find me on Facebook, uh, Colleen O'Day Murphy. And you can find me on Instagram, also Colleen O'Day Murphy. And you can email me at cmurphy at vipmortgagegroup.com. Perfect. I just have to say from all of us at VIP, we love you. Thank you for coming on as our first VIP Mortgage Group Spotlight. Uh, and you are amazing. And it's such a pleasure and honor to work with you. We all love you, you guys. Reach out to Colleen Murphy. You know how to get to her. And if you don't, come find me. I'll get, I'll get you to her. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and for tuning in. We're going to be doing these with all of our uh, loan officers, our mortgage license. What is it? Professionals. Let's put it that way. Our family. We want to show you that we are a family and we want you to get involved with us. Amazing people. Amazing. We love you guys. See you soon.